y'all? Welcome all to IGY6 Games, the gamer channel that brings you a variety of entertainment and content. Bo here and year. Before we kick things off, I'd appreciate the love by y'all sharing and hitting those icons and need the click. And with that said, check out our social media where we post daily and keep in touch with our followers. Now let go. <sighs> Devs, we have an issue. And this needs to be fixed ASAP. Or we're gonna have a lot a toxic community and people will just will be burnt out playing a game but I'll get into that in the near future let's cover a couple of topics on why this game could be dead and at least lose a lot of the people the glitchers and the non glitchers just due to how the game is played today this is not a glitch revealing video, so if you're here for that reason, I would ask you to please stay and hear me out, but at the same time, you're not going to get what you're looking for. Not hard to find though. I'm sure it's pl plenty of it on YouTube, and hell, just jump into a matchmaker for the raid. And I'd say approximately 50% of the ghosts right now are running one of the two glitches which makes the raid so easy it's not challenging at all and it's just bad in general to my knowledge raids in these games of late are supposed to be the hardest content in the game right wow. other than you know maybe pvp where you're playing humans but as for pve aspects the raid is supposed to be the hardest challenge in the game Hold on, guys. and where it's at right now trust me it's not. So let's start with the lesser of the two evils. Air quotes <laughs> coming. The aggro oh, so glitch. You, you this glitch which causes the boss to move at the pace of a snail. Well, we can, but Hence, we gotta easy to deal damage with your target yeah, while it's barely play. moving. Yeah. Now what's hey, wrong two, with two, this one. glitch? Go. It's doable, I believe. Right maybe on all of them. I haven't ran into a group who can who did it Jesus. on the supercomputer yeah. beta, but I bet you can Damn. fly out your drone throughout the rig and go hit the coast and maybe see like a little patrol and get their aggro from them. I don't know truly. I don't understand it truly yet. I think it has to do with the RO calling the reinforcements or it's just drawing aggro from your drone. Period. What did we learn? But so. With Alpha Doll, not supercomputer that I know of yet, but Omega with Gargoyle and Zeta, which is Cerberus. They all can be done that way, and I've ran them that way, and it's just too damn easy. This needs to be fixed. I'm, I can't believe this isn't a hot patch fix yet. I believe the raid now is almost a month out so Ooh, that should have been a really high priority but that's not the worst of it let's get into the freaking DMR glitch the DMR glitch this glitch this glitch is ruining the whole raid experience immensely this is just this isn't just for the raid boss battles but this works throughout the whole world of Aria, Aura, Aurora, my bad, Aria, Aurora, and Golem Island. This glitch increases your DMR damage by more than five times. And with your DMR hitting that hard, every NPC is a one shot, one kill, even in a raid 260 plus on their so called gear score levels. And you can melt a raid boss, all of the raid bosses, in less than a minute. No joke. People are melting them in less than 30. Let's just say you never get to a second phase of a raid boss and having that challenge jump up a level. Now I want to get to why, why these need to be fixed before it's too late. And I'd say we're getting to the late portion of this time frame 
of this glit these glitches being available so devs before terminator event is released please have these fixed if these are active especially the dmr if that's active with t uh, with terminator say goodbye to that shit people are gonna have that done day one and i'd imagine people are done with it in general just never doing it See, again for a, within a week's time the they'll be done burnt right. out got what they needed and never yeah, see sure. Terminator again. So I definitely uh, get this fixed back, before like, Terminator. Like, 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 All my stuff. Wildlands gamers, Ghost. Do y'all remember the difficulty of, what's, what's that damn thing? The, the Predator? Blue predator blue took good yeah. communication, oh, a solid yeah. squad, some good strategy laying down those okay, mines, uh, obviously okay, running the, uh, yeah, just in case. the yeah, thermals. Just in case. Big um, movement. You gotta have good movement on that with, with the predator having to wor uh, work the rock with those rockets coming at you and his little throwy little ninja stars. But it was a blast, right? It was challenging, but a blast. Now imagine we had the DMR glitch with Predator. Dude would have been laughing and shit for his first five seconds of his life. He'd have been done. Would have been running our, asses, our asses outside of that damn radius oh, down, down. to survive the explosion. That's it. That we would have ran it, what, oh, no, three no, no. times with the DMR glitch? You're done. You're tired yeah, of it. It's yeah, too easy. Let them get close. Hence, fix it before Terminator. Another reason to get this fixed immediately, top priority. You should be in y'all's office right now getting this shit. Know. This shit right here, right now? <laughs> I'm sorry. But this is also to save the raid itself. Y'all gotta remember, we have all these Christmas gamers who are gonna get this game. Luckily, it's gonna take them some time to level up their gear score to 150. But once they're 150, they're hopping in that bitch. They're gonna beat it. You got them all? I'd say if they got fellow glitchers with them, which the chances hell in another week, the percentage of people running the glitch in the raid is going to go up another quarter uh, probably help. so you have all them they're hurry up right now they're right now they're on the game grind and get to 150. I, they're going to well, beat the right raid one. at gear score 150. well you know you're going to get your your jump ups from the raid bosses to get the zeta Zer cerberus but all those ex uh christmas gamers they're going to have so the raid beat up. Within the first two hours of them running the raid for their first time and completing the raid, and they're already about, I don't know, a 180 to 200 within their first attempt of running. And it'll be a joke. Please fix it before they get their week. I'm sorry, Christmas gamers, but trust me is ruining the current oh, ones shit, right yeah. now it's not a good experience oh, when there's no challenge and it doesn't cause you to work as a team people are running with no mics it's hard. that damn serious to save the raid itself as well as I always want to say predator now but the terminator but let, let's get back to the ghost oh, as of right now who are running the raid daily but these guys keep using the DMR glitch and the aggro glitch. They're going to hit the hard cap with the raid. Wherever that hard cap is. I don't know where it is. But they're going to hit that. And then you lose them forever for the raid. Because there's no incentive for them to cheese anymore. They got no more drops to get. So let's, let's not forget about the current gamers. Now let's cover the ghosts who want to run it legit. And say they have to match make, they don't have a full squad going in. They keep more and more matchmaking. And of course you want somebody with a mic to run the raid with you. You especially need good communication at the raid boss times. Especially in front of legit. Now imagine you're matchmaking and knowing now you got DMR glitchers and people who want to do the aggro glitch before every boss. Do you know how hard it is for the legit runners who want to just get a full squad and go legit 
So now you're tacking on, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour to make sure, A, they have a mic. B, they're going to run smoothly. C, now we got to know, hey, are you rocking the DMR glitch? All right, so, sorry, bud, but we're kind of wanting to run this legit. Do you mind if you bounce? If not, we got to vote you. And then there's more toxicity. Growth within the community. We already got the toxic players as it is. And then you get <laughs> people trying to run it and be straight with it. But you have to kick somebody because they just want to run it quicker. Because they just want the gear quicker with their short amount of time that they have. See the available availability to glitch, it just makes it that much easier for people to take the easy way out and get it done. I just want to throw a shout out to my SOCOM 2 gamers, that community. Y'all remember that time when we ran into glitchers on a 4v4 match? Say Crossroads. We knew somebody was on the turret glitch. Do you remember us as a community agreeing to just bounce these dudes? They wouldn't make it one round. They would get voted out. I, that just hit me. That is crazy. I love that shit. But you can't ask people to do that today, man. It's just, that's not how the culture is anymore. Ran over. Enjoy the holidays. And as always, I say peace.